Hi, welcome back to Art History. This is Beers Barn, and we're looking at global traditions, specifically the Pacific Islands. Today, we're going to talk about a mysterious site known as Non Madal. And let's start with the context. Non Madal is sometimes referred to as the Atlantis of the Pacific. Atlantis is a reference to a mythological city that was thought to have sunken underneath the ocean back in ancient times. And there's all kinds of legends of mermaids and lost technology. None of that is real. None of that is based in history. But non Madal is real. And it's oftentimes compared to Atlantis because it's a city that's built into the ocean. It's off the coast of a small island called Pompeii. We have a man-made set of islands built into the ocean itself. Now, the site of Nan Madal was chosen specifically because it's not that deep. It's a relatively shallow lagoon, so the ocean floor is not that far below the surface of the ocean. But what the architects of Nan Madal were able to do was stack up stones to create their own set of islands, and on top of these man-made islands, to build their buildings. Now, surrounding this site, you'll see a heavy seawall. A seawall is a barrier to protect the buildings from the waves. Without that, the waves will just hammer the buildings and over time destroy the structures. So they built this barrier to protect the buildings. You might also notice, though, that there are gaps in the wall, and that's to allow the tides to come in and out. The main way to navigate through Nan Madal was by taking a boat from building to building. And by having the tides come in and recede, they were able to keep those channels as part of the natural ocean. Now, for the form of Nan Madal, let's talk about what it's made out of. The architecture itself is known as megalithic architecture, which is a term that you might be familiar with. We used it before when we were talking about Stonehenge. Megalithic architecture is when a structure is made of massive stones. And Nan Madal definitely qualifies as megalithic. Both the man made islands and the buildings on the islands are all made out of these giant slabs of basalt. Now, knowing that's made out of basalt is important because basalt is a very particular type of stone. It forms into these large columns. We have these kind of tall vertical geometric shapes of basalt. And over time, those columns break off naturally. And what you're left with is you can think of it almost like a log made out of stone. What the architects of Nan Madal did was take those basalt logs and stack them up crisscrossing to create their platforms, starting at the ocean floor, all the way up emerging from the waves, and then building their structures on top of them. What's impressive is that these people did not have access to the tools that we would typically use to make something like this. The basalt logs weigh tons, and they didn't have access to even simple things like levers and pulleys that we know of. So the way that they were able to navigate the ocean, to take these giant basalt logs, sink them down to the ocean floor, and then arrange them in specific ways to create non Madal, it's, uh, it's incredibly impressive. And it's a source of a lot of mystery. We don't really know exactly how they did it. What we do know is the function. non Madal is the seat of power for the Sadalir dynasty. The Sadalir dynasty rules this part of the Pacific Ocean from the 12th century to the 17th century. And Nan Madal is their capital. You can think of it in a lot of ways as very similar to the palace at Versailles. It's a place where the king ruled from, but it was also very much a way for him to keep tabs on all of the upper class people, all the aristocrats, that could potentially be a challenge to his authority. Nan Madal is very similar. It's a place where the king of the Sadalir ruled from, it's also a place where he collected all of the most important powerful people so he could keep them close to him and keep tabs on them. Now, the reason why they built it out into the ocean, they could have easily built it on the land, but they chose to build it off the coast into the ocean. And the reason why is because for the king, this is a symbol of his dominance, not only his dominance over the people that he rules, but his dominance over nature as well. He's able to tame the sea itself and build his own islands in the ocean. And with that kind of power, who would challenge his authority? So Nan Madal, although we don't know how it was made, we do know why it was made. It's a place where a king of this dynasty consolidated his power and ruled both over his people and nature. We'll leave it there today. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time.